you look sensational, may I say? Thank you so much. You, you I look just it. fantastic. And well done on the... Are you a vampire? Oh, you can tell, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit vampire-y creeping up like that. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. Is this based on... Is it from, the, like, the movie? Yeah, based on the movie. Robert oh. Rodriguez is directing it. So I'm very happy to be able to... Be in the States doing this, it's just... Oh, me too! Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> Where are you from originally? Mexico? I was born and raised in Mexico City, okay. yes. And uh, when, did you come here for this job? I came for this job, obviously. I wanted to do a little bit of a crossover. I've been working since I was really young in Mexico, since I was like 14. Because you're, you're a singer uh, as well, right? Yeah, I right. used to sing when I was... Um, well, I still sing, but um, I started doing shows for Nickelodeon and stuff for kids. Uh, Mexican Nickelodeon or...? Latin America. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that like? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen Mexican Nickelodeon. I think I'd quite like, I'd quite like to see that. Actually, do they have SpongeBob SquarePanto? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it kind of is. It's um, eh, Bob Esponja. Really? Which it's like, yeah, it's so weird. I actually, every time I watch, now that I live in the states and I get to watch the original voices and everything. Right. It's. Another story, a whole other world. Like, they changed the stories completely. It just makes no sense. I don't know who's dubbing, dubbing all those stuff. No, it's they like this show as well. Yeah. I know. <laughs> anyway, so I remember seeing this movie. This was uh, George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino. Yes. And Salma Hayek did. Yeah. The, do you play the Salma uh, part? Yes. Because I, I know Salma Hayek. Oh really? Yes, I do. I did a film with her years ago. And oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's she's uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a very attractive woman. She is wow. so yeah. hot. She dances the, with the, the snake. Did yeah. you do the snake dance? I did the snake dance. Um, no pressure whatsoever. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, welcome to America. Dance with that snake that everyone remembers. And it was right. kind of difficult How for me. How are you with snakes? Do you like snakes? I was scared of snakes. <laughs> but I mean, you don't get scared anymore. Scared to dance? <laughs> You don't get scared anymore when you actually know that that snake has been in every part of your body. So I was like not scared anymore. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, this snake's more knows more about me than myself. <laughs> that is making me very nervous. I think, much like Don Rickles, you went a bit too far. <laughs> Oh, don't. We all say but the, things the remember. point came across. Oh, is that a tattoo on your finger? Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. Oh, yes, yeah, so you do. You're like a little illustration book. Look, <laughs> that. how many do you have? I have ten. Oh, ten no, you've got to get more. More, yeah, because you got to have, like, An 11. odd number. Yeah, odd number. I right. know about this, but I got to a point when I was young, I was a little bit rebellious, and I was like, I'll get tattooed all over the place. And then kind of wanted to be more of a lady. I don't know if that's working. Yes, you, <laughs> but, you're very I mean, elegant. I, uh, well, but my mom was like, girl, you need to stop getting tattoos. So I kind of stopped, but I'm definitely thinking of getting a new one. One well, more. Well, you know, it doesn't make you not a lady to have tattoos. I've met very nice ladies with really? tattoos. I'm yes, I have. <laughs> Yes, like me? I, I, well, I, yeah, not all of them as attractive <laughs> as you, but yes. Um, no, I, I've got a lot of, I like tattoos. Can I'm, I see, you? do you have one? Yeah, I have, it's a snake here, actually. Oh, what so you it? like a snake? So well, a little bit. <laughs> this is a very, this is a very American uh, symbol. This is, Benjamin Franklin did this in 1754. Oh. First symbol of the United Colonies. Didn't you sit the citizenship exam? Yes. <laughs> That's not in it. It's, I got this, though, when I became a citizen. Amazing. How long have you been a citizen? Since, like, 2008 or something. Oh, awesome. And, and are you a citizen? Not yet. Oh, it's great. When you become a citizen, I it was like one, there was a huge group of people at Pomona Flair, Fairgrounds. It was uh -huh. one new Scottish American and 3,000 new Mexican Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and we were all Americans that day. We were like, yeah! I feel like I'm going to be one of those. Are you going to do it? Yes, I'm definitely going to do it. Oh, good for I you. Love, I love the state, so I'm happy living here. Well, that's nice. Uh, what else are you going to do then after this? What about Broadway? Tap dancing? Tap dancing? Yeah, can you tap dance? Um, I can't tap dance, but I can dance a really? little bit. I'm not too um, synchronized <laughs> sometimes. I'm, I'm... What would you like to do? Like, if you could do any film at all, would it like, be a horror film? I don't know, maybe some... Um, drama or I like to sing too so something what about a musical. talk show why don't you do a talk show I'm not as good as you no no, no you don't have to be good uh, you, you just do it you don't have to be good at it just do it just fine just, just do go. your thing we'll see yeah. what happens you got a skeleton a robot thing and a horse 
You'll be fine. I know, right? Yeah, that's all you need. I need. I got mine after I became a citizen. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, you're now a citizen. Here's your talk show. And that's amazing. So it, the only thing I need is a citizenship. That's yeah, all yeah, I you got to study for it. And it's a harder horse. now. <laughs> I like, is it Rodriguez directing this, is he? Yeah, Robert. He's been is he's been here before, you know. Yeah, he loves you. He actually. I love him too. He's got a lovely hat. Right. Yeah. Couple of lovely. He's, hats. You know what? He's like a, he's a proper man. No, he's like. Mm. He's yeah, like. Where's a, a hat? He's like a where's Texan a hat stun, and right? Knows about things. Yeah. Kind of like I'll fix it, and he puts up a <laughs> shelf and stuff. <laughs> like a man. He's know. a real man. Yeah, like, yeah. From yes. Texas, and men right. from Texas are like. Cowboys, like. Is that what you men. like? Do you like manly man, manly manly men? <laughs> Is that bad? No, not at all. Just kind of passing the time, really. It's, it's a do. talk show. It's just kind of the things we do. I do, I do. Um, it, it's nice to have a man to help you, especially when you're moving in as a woman, poor Mexican woman that doesn't know what to do in America. Language barriers. It's oh. always good to like have someone to help you, and if it's a manly man that can carry your stuff. Be like, on a truck. So American, but in a truck. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I'm not worried about you at all. You're going to be fine. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on this. And Thank uh, you. we have to go to the commercials now. We have to? Yes. But I'm having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 trust me, I'd rather stay too. But uh, <laughs> it's commercial time. And I, but boy, these uh, commercials are great for great products. <laughs>